Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, dedicated dad. Obviously, a few of you know that I have this online Kung Fu course online. Well, today I have big news. Finally, it is happening. I am making an online DJ course. Heaven on your body, I give what I love to take. So hold on to me. But first off, new music today. My official remix of Afrojack, Jewels and Sparks, and Evelyn Switch is out today. You can hear it in the background. It is out everywhere. Make sure to check the link below if you want to hear it and put it in your playlist. We recently signed a new Mixmash family member, which is Lady B and her first release on my Mixmash label imprint is out today. It is her official remix of my label's classics Oliver Twist and Gangsta Dam. It works really well on my dance floors. Make sure to check it out in the description below as well. And here's a shout out to the comments from last week's vlog, a candid vlog, one that I filmed, you know, being on tour and everything on how I crushed my laptop. A very personal vlog. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check it out. You'll see everything that happens in the true story and the real life. Shout out to the number two comment from that vlog, Andras Hertelendi. Thank you so much for the amazing words and it's these kind of messages that keep me doing the things I do. Echo Tricks on the number one comment from last week, the demo vlog. Guess what? Next week's vlog is, if you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe on my channel right now. I am actually going to listen to demos next week. This week though, I'm taking you backstage on how I filmed this online DJ course. I filmed it together with Digital DJ Tips, a big teaching platform for digital DJs. If you didn't hear of them yet, make sure to check them out. They are amazing. It's an incredible platform and I'm so happy I'm collaborating with them. This course came out looking really professional and I can't wait to show you all this footage on how we took a full week in Amsterdam to record all of this. Okay, so this whole course is a very organic thing. What we do is we gather around the, the DJ decks and we've had a session before at my house behind my decks uh, writing down what we're going to teach. But right here we always come together and we discuss what should be taught. And what I like about these guys is that they really dissect all the techniques I have in store. And there's many things that I just do that I just do out of a regular, I don't even think about it. But in this course, you get really get the full elaborate detail into every single technique that I'm doing. So it often takes a little bit before we actually start recording. We're discussing, Phil talks to Steve, Steve talks to Phil, and they see if I'm okay with it. And after that, we'll go and start to record. And when we record, I actually get a little bit of nerves as well. Two or three tracks to get from 150 down to 75, 80, but then quickly back to 100. I'm Phil Morse. I am the founder of Digital DJ Tips, and I am the person most often seen presenting, co-presenting uh, in front of the camera when it comes to our training and our videos. So the thing is, Luke, it's your course, it's your music, it's your training. It's what you want the world to know about how you do things. But as a teacher, as someone who's been involved in teaching kind of over 20,000 students, it's my job to show you at your best, to make sure that everything that the students need to know has been covered by you, to kind of nudge you when you, when you maybe have forgotten to, to share something that I know as a teacher is important. And just to make sure that the training that you're making here is the most effective training that, that we can produce together. It yeah. would be all right to have two or three tracks in it. If you genuinely do that, you genuinely get right to the top of the BPM range. I do Flip that. it to the bottom and then take a couple of tracks quite quickly to get back to your yeah. preferred 110. Forcing yourself into a situation where the only way out of it is to flip down to a BPM that's too low. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's our lesson. Yeah. Okay, so now we've done this little interview in front of the camera. It always gets a little bit of nerve-wracking because I, I need to put in my, uh, my little in-ears. And I actually need to start to mix right now. A bit nervous, but luckily I have all this experience and I can actually pull it off doing these demos. <laughs> So 
Looks pretty simple. Talk us through it. Indeed, as simple as that, it's literally. Uh, we, we need to do that again yeah. then. Yeah, it was. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. No, right, well, no problem. Backstage footage right here. He's Phil has been hiding over there all this time. True professional at work. So I, I love that. I spotted three things that I want to talk about. I wanted to kind of deconstruct for people. It's just a very short echo. Sorry, Sorry guys. I'm going to, I am going to be anal now. Can you do up your next button? <laughs> Steve always on the lookout for the quality control here. <laughs> hey, I'm Steve Canueto and I work with Phil Morse at Digital DJ Tips and we make uh, DJ courses and that's why you're talking to me now because we're making a uh, creative transitions mixing course with you, Laidback Luke. So Phil and I collaborate on uh, the lessons and the teaching point and to make sure that the training that we're making is going to be useful for our audience. Uh, most of the people that have actually taken our training or seen our stuff will know that Phil is tends to be the guy in front of the camera for the most part. The guy behind the camera making sure that everything's running and the mics sound good and the music sounds good and also editing most of the lessons afterwards, that's me. Okay, so these are the sessions we are recording right here. They can take a lot of time and we were just recording now and my stomach started growling. And so we're actually at the unmanageable office uh, recording this, but we are recording it in the kitchen over here. And obviously you can't smell it, but oh, right over there is a restaurant. Right next door is a restaurant. And around this hour, they are making food. It smells delicious and my stomach starts growling. So if you hear that through the mic on the course, you know where that came from. And so now it's just time to keep up the fit life. Eh? Grab a protein bar, have a little snack here and then continue. Okay, I wanted to talk to you about shirts today. I walked in day one with a white mix mash shirt, but Steve being Steve said, we, we can't do it because you light up on the camera and it doesn't really look right next to Phil. So I, um, we are at the unmanageable office right now. So I, I texted my manager upstairs to, to bring me a, another Mix Mash merch t-shirt, which luckily they had. And so truth be told, because this is the true story in the real life, I am wearing the same shirt f the whole week. We're shooting this the whole week, the full five days. So. Actually, it's a good thing that you might not be able to smell things on camera right here. So this might be a little bit of a weird one. Look at how the screen is sitting over here, but it's all to do with the, the overhead camera right here, the overhead rig, um, because otherwise you would see the reflection of, of Phil and I in the screen. And, and obviously you can see it really well over here. Mixing wise though, a little bit strange, but doable, just trying to not like arch my back too much or bend my back too much, but it's cool. This could even work at shows, actually. See more crowd. And speaking of crowd, you are right there. That's you watching us making this, doing this. Okay, so it's lunchtime right here. It gets a little bit strange because we're in that dark area the whole day um, and it's still light out. It's time for lunch right now. And uh, yeah, there's all sorts of amazing spots here. And, and the guys and I have been uh, enjoying grabbing lunch around here. Time for food. And so we're here at the Adam Tower, a very trendy place, a very happening place for a lot of the locals around here. The food has been great during our uh, lunch hours. It's good to reset and to catch up a little bit. So our lunch usually marked the midway of the day. Uh, so this morning we recorded how many videos? Four? Four, yeah. Four videos. We're gonna aim to record at least three more. And so at the end of this, this DJ course will have a ton, a ton of videos. Oh, yes. So we've come to the end of day three right here. Currently we have 21 videos that we recorded and I was kind of under the impression that it was gonna, the course was gonna consist of 21 videos. I actually, I was standing up, but I, I sat down because it's been long days of standing, but Phil just corrected me. If we stop 21 videos and just say that's a number, we might only have half a laid back loop course. It's really important that we get 
everything out of you. That's the first thing. We need to squeeze everything out of you until we think we've got what you're about on video. Even then, it's not done because even then, we've got to start putting the videos about how you prepare, the videos about how you set your equipment up, the videos about your kind of standards so that when you start doing stuff, it sounds like you and it doesn't trip you up. And then we've got intros and then we've got kind of the way you think. So we've got a couple of days work left here, mate, before we can call this done. Okay, so the guys are rounding this course up right now, actually editing all the video and making videos where you really can see what I'm doing with my hands, everything explained, some proper curriculums in there, and the total amount of videos is actually looking like a 80 or 90 videos actually. And mind you, this is like the full, the full course, the full laid back loop DJ course, and you can actually learn pretty much everything I do in DJ. The release date is gonna be later this year. Make sure to keep an eye on digital DJ tips and my socials as well for the latest news and the actual release and pre-registering of this course. I am super excited to share all of this with you. One of the things we recorded in this course is how to mix with free decks, mixing techno with free decks. And it's actually what I'm gonna do this weekend. When this is aired on the Friday, I'm gonna play a Strictly Techno at Bijou in Boston. And the next day on the Saturday after, I'll be playing a Strictly Techno set at Ravine in Atlanta. So if you're around, make sure to check the link below for tickets. If you like it too, make sure to give me a like right now. And I'm super excited for next week's vlog, which is a demo listening session. I always say it, I really wanna sign you as a young and up and coming talent. I'll be going through demos, giving you feedback, and it's always a really nice vlog to record for me. Make sure to tune back in next week. Until then, L's up, rave safely, and salute.